All right, this is a fun one. We'll, we'll be the 541 for a few minutes because we got a fun story for you. We have a lot of rural and beautiful areas here in the Northwest. And those of you who live in rural areas know that life is very different than it is in the city. You know your neighbors, you might all go to the same grocery store or the one school in town with the graduating class of like eight. That's what Midvale had just last year. But what about only three students? Ah, that's the case for one Eastern Oregon school. And our sister station in Portland, they're going to give us a glimpse now of an educational lifestyle that is precious to those who live it, even as it may be coming to an end. Thomas Schultz from KGW shows us this fun story. In the most unusual of places, it's possible to be surprised by the ordinary. <laughs> like kids on their way to school. <laughs> it's heading, guys. Three students, All right. to be exact. Any questions? OK. We started here with six, and then a family moved away, so now I have three. Just three in the whole school. And with six days left, the school year is far from over. Yeah, we're going to combine this. These are the three things. Yeah. You've got a really good start, Kelton. She. For a trio, that's forever nope. linked. Carly, how's yours going? You could say Good. they okay. rule the school. You just get used to some of the things, everybody being related. Tyler Johnson yeah. is the superintendent of the Jordan Valley School District, serving a small ranching community in eastern Oregon, just minutes away from the Idaho border. So we're going to label Charlie and Carly are sisters. What do we have to do here? Kelton's their cousin. Yep. And they've all gone to Rockville Elementary School since kindergarten, continuing a decades old lineage. <laughs> At the only elementary school within a 40 minute drive. It's an incredible place to be. It doesn't get any better. So not only are you teaching in a building that's been in existence for a long time, but their families have attended school here. These three are the third generation of McKinsey's to attend Rockville. All right, kiddos. And when there's a break in the day, they're quick to be outside. <laughs> there you go. Even recess means getting creative. Because the McKinsey's are meant to be outside. <laughs> recess is over. Your summer plans are to rodeo. For generations, their family has ranched. I like horses a lot. And they're next in line. Already, they feed and water. Dogs, pigs, and goats, and horses. For hours after school. And for the cattle? And then when they have calves, brand them. They don't quit. They, they work. There's no going home and watching TV. <laughs> We're trying to use our bigger vocabulary. There's no quitting in the classroom either. So what are we looking for here? Where Miss Green teaches Kelton good. English. Yep, you got it. Good job. Again, if you're writing in first person, we need and to Carly, the art of writing. Good job. Okay. Well. Okay, looks good. Miss Greeley yep. tutors Charlie. How are we gonna do it? A first grader. <laughs> and this was my first year doing spelling too. And Miss Greeley's okay. been mixing work and fun for <laughs> a little while now. I've been teaching here for 18 years and nine months. <laughs> Though this spring, it's hard not to think about the upcoming fall. It's the end of the school year. I love it. I love my job. I'm pretty sad that I'm going to retire. But Miss Greeley's leaving a school that's as close to home. So I had to teach my own kids. <laughs> as it gets. It was fun. It was, yeah. And while Rockville welcomes <laughs> Charlie's younger sister next year. All right. They'll have just one more trip around the sun with the oldest, Carly. Yeah before saying goodbye. That one's gonna be hard. Yeah. She'll head off to the high school. It'll be fun. I'm excited. Yeah, we can. Which teaches grades Kay. seven through 12. Mm -hmm. They all met standards. I'm so proud of them. In one awesome. by I'm, one. I'm very proud of these kids. You should be. That's they awesome. worked so hard. Yeah. Okay, you can clean your things up. With the what final like student starting next year. Go ahead and turn it all in. School will shut down at some point if we don't get more families, which in Rockville is pretty rare. So yeah, she'll be my last kindergartner. That's sad to think about because I love kindergarten. The school will close in eight years. And after spending a decade or two Good job, you're teaching kids to read 
and to write. Okay, you're getting close. For the first time. There you go, perfect. These uh, teachers. I've known a lot of them from birth. We'll have to watch from afar. Put your binder away. As their kids go on through life, which may be simple, Thanks, but extraordinary. Yeah, a new chapter is going to be ahead. A new book to be written. <laughs> All right. Thomas Schultz. Yeah? KGW okay. News. This is home, and we love it. The school only has one teacher, one assistant teacher, and a few Chromebooks, so it only takes about $98,000 for the state of Oregon to run that school. Superintendent Tyler Johnson said once the kids leave their small school for higher education, they're pleasantly surprised by being ahead of the curve because of the one-on-one -on -one attention they're getting. We'll keep an eye on this one. It'll be interesting to see what happens over the next few years.